Well, I guess that's the way we're starting things out, so... <laughs> Hello everybody. I hope you've all been uh, having a uh, great day. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild hunting some stuff on Verhonga Savannah with shotguns and um, yeah, I, I did not expect to just run up on this thing like that. I tabbed out for like two seconds uh, to get a few of my videos downloaded for making a new intro for this video right here. And, uh, yeah, I, I tab back in and I'm stuck on a tree and this, uh, wildebeest is just kind of chilling. So that's an interesting way to start things out. But today we're going to be looking for some trophies here in multiplayer, hoping that we can get some kills with the shotguns. I'm really hoping that we can find a diamond or a rare today. That would be absolutely amazing. But even if we don't, it's going to be fun just to get out and use the shotguns a bit. Oh my gosh, that's a level five. Uh, well, uh, asking you will receive, I suppose. Uh, that's not what I expected. Oh my gosh, we've got ourselves a level 5 at literally the second lake that I went to. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do here. I really don't. This is not exactly the best situation with it running away. Uh, yeah, well... I suppose we just kinda wait for it to come back. This guy does have a tripod here, so... Maybe that'll work out into our favor. Let's just jump up here and wait for it to come back and... Ah, oh man, the wind is actually really bad, so... On second thought, this might not work as well as I'd like it to. I guess we'll have to see. It definitely looks like they have started to walk back here, so if we just continue to wait, I think we should be able to get that five, hopefully. Yeah, they're definitely all coming back, so now it's just gonna be a matter of figuring out which one is him, and then making sure that he doesn't wind us again. Oh my gosh, there he is. He is right there. Okay, that is an absolute giant, actually. Let's, uh, let's try to get him to stop. We need to try and get him to stop if we can. I think we can do it right here. Let's just get him alerted. I'm gonna wait until he turns because I don't want to take a shot right now and have him possibly move as I'm taking the shot. Uh, we're gonna wait till he goes broadside again. He should be right at about 150, so I'm pretty confident that we'll hit wherever we're aiming. Hopefully, at least. I hope so. There he is, once again, and this time we have a much better angle to take him out. We've kind of moved up a little bit. Now, there was an angry cape buffalo behind me, so I'm hoping it doesn't decide to charge. If it does, that's definitely going to put a damper on things and make it a lot harder to get this down. However, it seems that it is leaving us alone, at least for now, so we should be able to take a shot on it. And it's just getting closer and closer by the second, so as long as we just chill right here where the wind is not really an issue, this should be an easy 100 meter shot, so let's uh, see if we can do that real quickly. Alright, here we go. Let's start moving. Let's see if we can get it to stop. And just like that, we have put a shot into it, and it looks to be good as well. It looks like we just downed ourselves a monster blue wildebeest that I believe is a guaranteed diamond if I'm not mistaken. I think it is a guaranteed diamond at a minimum estimate of 39. So that's great. This is going to be the first Diamond Wildebeest that we've had in a couple months. I think the last time we got one was around the release of the AR pack. So it is nice to get another one down after quite a long time of not really chasing after them too much. And there he is. What a beauty. That is a good looking one. I think that is Bighorns if I'm not mistaken. And at 3940, that is an absolute beast. Look at that beautiful Wildebeest. This actually might be my biggest blue wildebeest ever, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is actually one of the biggest blue wildebeests I've ever killed. With it being like 3 kgs off of maximum weight, that's a monster. Or at least I, I think that 290 is max weight. If I'm not mistaken, I think it is. But that either way, that's a beautiful, beautiful blue wildebeest. And we did manage to get the lung and the spine, which is definitely a little sketch. It could have been bad, but we did manage to make it work. And I really don't know a better way that we could have started things out today. I was totally expecting to do this entire video without finding anything, and literally the second lake we go to, we end up finding this beauty, which is just perfect. You love to see it. Well, that's interesting. There's just a random dead jackal here. And I swear I just heard some rabbits running off as well. You know, we're going to keep a lookout for those rabbits. But uh, let's go ahead and pick this up and see what somebody just left here. And I mean, there's not anybody close to us, really, so... I have no idea what this could be. It's a level 5 light brown. It appears like uh, whoever shot it did leave the server, and they shot it with a 12-gauge slug, so... 
Well, this is going to be interesting. We're going to try and stock up on a lion and take it out with a slug. This is going to go terribly. I, I don't see this ending well, but we're going to try it anyway because it's not too often that you get a chance to stock up on a sleeping lion. And we're going to try that today with the 10 gauge shotgun and just see how this goes. Okay, we are incredibly close now, about 55 meters away. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep it spotted though because of this tall grass. But uh, we're doing our best here. I'm going to try and move up slightly closer. I think we can definitely do that because we are still hidden right here. Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be interesting. Because I do have to stand up in order to be able to actually take a shot. Because otherwise we're not going to be able to see it. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is sketchy. It's very sketchy to say the least. Well, here goes nothing. I think this is where we will attempt to spot it if we can. There it is. Oh my gosh. That actually worked out. I can't believe that that actually worked out in our favor. I mean, it wasn't a good shot, but it still worked out in our favor. Well, that's definitely vital blood, so we did get a hit. I mean, it died so slow that I thought that we hit spine, but it looks like the 10 gauge just kills them slower than I expected. Another reason why I don't use this thing too much with the slugs, because it does have a little bit of a, uh, a lacking in power when it comes to the larger animals like Lion and Cape Buffalo. Uh, overall, it's still a fun thing to do every once in a while, which is why we're doing it today. And I do enjoy occasionally taking shotguns out to an odd map like Verhongo, where you typically wouldn't use shotguns. It can be quite a bit of fun. Well, there it is, our beautiful lion. Let's go ahead and pick it up and see where we hit it. That is a perfect single lung shot, 44.90 on the score. So that explains why it died somewhat slow. It was a single lung. If we had hit double lung, I think it probably would have gone down at a much quicker rate, but unfortunately at 50 meters, it couldn't quite get to that second lung. Well, 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 we're now here at day two of recording this video, and I have just spotted an absolute beast of a Cape Buffalo at 157 to 179. That is a Bighorns level nine brown fur type Cape Buffalo. That is incredible. And we also got a nice mythical there as well. Uh, we are once again in multiplayer, so I want to make sure there's nobody around us, and it looks like we are good. So let's try to stock up on this guy and take him out with the shotgun. We are going to use the slugs from... The 10 gauge, which is going to be very interesting. I don't know if this is going to work out how I want it to, but I got to try because that guy is an absolute giant and he's going to be a very large diamond. So I really hope that we don't mess this up. But the 10 gauge does have some issues at range, so we are going to have to try and get close. Ah, man, I, I just really hope we don't screw this up because this could be one of my biggest cave buffalo ever. But uh, as we kind of stock up on this guy, let's talk a little bit about the waterfowl rework because... Uh, as I'm recording the second half of this video, it is the day that they showed off some of the waterfowl for uh, Finland. And I gotta say, the waterfowl rework is incredible looking, and a lot of the dune duck species look really good. I really think the Eurasian teal are gonna be my favorite species, and I'm curious how well all the shotguns are gonna do on them. You know, with this being a shotgun video, it just kind of sparked my uh, interest in like what these shotguns are gonna do. Uh, performance wise when it comes to hunting the ducks now that they're a lot faster I still think the 12 gauge is going to be the best but I'm wondering what other shotguns are going to surprise us on their versatility I mean with the marksman exact sight and the red raptor getting a rework maybe the side by side is actually going to be good because it'll be the only one that can have the marksman exact sight on it I guess we'll have to try things out but I'm very excited for it you know let's try to get him to go alert right here and there we go he's now alerted I think we can maybe hit this shot if we're lucky. We gotta wait for a perfect broadside shot because I don't want to try and do a weird angle like this. And in fact, I think we can just get him to stop walking. That actually would have been a perfect angle. However, he did not stop walking. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to have to stock up a little bit closer because that's kind of a sketchy shot to try and make with him moving around so much. You know, it's not too often that I spend two days making a video, but this just happened to be one of them. After recording the uh, last part of this video, I just ran out of time for recording that day. I decided to go do some uh, things with my daughter, so I decided that we would come back to it today and try to finish off this video, and it's definitely paying off already because that's a giant right there. And he is alerted somehow, which is a little odd. Um, I There's nobody else near us, so I'm going to assume that it's just because of the fact that we're in the open. Uh, let's have our dog sit real quick. I don't want it to spook it off. So let's uh, do our best to get this guy to calm down. My gosh, he is an absolute giant. The size of the horns on this thing is just insane. 
I never get tired of seeing Bighorn Skate Buffalo. Alright, the next time he goes broadside, I think we're gonna take the shot. Because at this point, we're within range. We're about 70 to 80 meters away. And that looked like a very solid hit. Let's just hope that it was as good as I think it was. We're gonna have to watch that HP. It'll start going down any second now if we got a good shot. Oh man, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. I am not liking what I'm seeing at all. And it's looking like we didn't hit vitals. I don't think it'll die, so we should be okay, but that's unfortunate. I'm curious where we hit. We might have just been a little bit too low or possibly too far to the right hitting the shoulder. Either way, he's not going to die from that shot, I don't think, so we're just going to have to wait for him to come back and get another shot into him. Oh, no. We just disconnected from the host. Oh, gosh. This is... Oh, this is bad. So we're not going to be able to claim it even if it were to die. So we're going to have to back out and then try to find the server again. We just got to look for a host with the name of XO. If he's not in this list, then we've just lost that thing. Okay, here he is. Oh my gosh. That scared me so bad. I hope that when we get in here, he doesn't have a bad ping again. Because if he does, it's going to disconnect us. And that's basically going to lose us this trophy. And right now, we're going to be so far away that I don't even know what we're going to do here. Well... I think this is about where we shot it, so we'll just head down there and hope that we can get close enough. Well, it seems our ping is a little bit better this time. However, it's still not great. This is still not a good ping, but it is better than it was, so we've got that going for us at least. Let's just hope that this is him. You know, part of me is tempted to go grab the 300 Magnum, but... I want to stick to the shotguns, even though it would be much easier to just go grab the 300 or the 338 and just get it over with. I want to make sure that we are taking this thing down the way that we intended to, which was with a shotgun, so we're going to risk it, even if it does mean losing this guy. Alright, so it does look like he did run off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and follow these tracks, and I guess whenever we find him, then uh, that'll be the next clip. Uh-oh. Um, I hear it. Uh, that's the mythical. And I'm pretty sure the other one's attacking. But I don't know where the legendary is. The legendary is not here. So, that's interesting. Now, if we could just get the legendary to attack, that would be amazing. Would definitely save us a little bit of trouble there. Uh-oh. Uh, we've got more company, and once again, it's not the Cape Buffalo that we're after... Uh, this is just, this is just going terribly. I don't know how else to put it, it's just not going the way that we need it to. Uh, that's his track, so... As long as we remember that, we can spot this guy. And I've also learned that the 10 gauge has terrible penetration on Cape Buffalo, so even if we do get a close, vital, broadside hit, there's a good chance that it won't even get the penetration we need. Because, like, I mean, even a shot like that, it didn't quite get into it, which is unfortunate. That one right there did, but you have to hit in the absolute perfect spot in order for it to work. It's kind of scary to think that we're going to have to do that with a giant level 9 like that. The more I think about it, the more I want to go grab the 300, and I'm thinking we might because of how inconsistent the 10-gauge slugs are. Last thing I want to do is absolutely screw this thing up. So we're going to get it just in case. It doesn't mean we're necessarily going to use it, but if it comes to it, then we'll at least have that as a backup plan. Oh my gosh, is this him? Are we being attacked by him? Oh my gosh, we are. He's aggressive. Uh, 3.38 time. Uh, sorry if you guys can hear my daughter in the background. She's uh, right next to me at the moment. Uh, but this is one of those things where I can't really wait until uh, she's out of the room. So we're going to... Um, hope that this works out. Oh gosh, I'm so scared. Are we gonna mess this thing up? There's a chance that we could. This is... Oh, this is so sketchy. Come on. Just get that perfect shot. Uh, I hate having to do it when they're charging. I think that was too far back. Ah, oh, man. Wait. Are, are you kidding me? That was 
No organs hit? I mean, at this point, it's ruined regardless. Oh, wait, this is a... This is a different one. What? This is actually a different one. The estimate is completely different on this thing. I thought it looked different. Well, that is going to make this even more interesting because that means we have a second level 9 somewhere. And this guy's running away. This has just completely changed. And also, I got host of the server, so we can uh, change the time if we need to. And uh, after that, we'll definitely have to. That's insane. We have a second level 9. And he's not nearly as big as the one that we were chasing after, from what I can tell. This has just really turned into something. So, I feel like at this point we're going to have to reset the time now that we have control of this server, because, like, I'm seeing lots of Cape Buffalo, but none of them are either of the level 9s. And another thing that I have found interesting is ever since they reworked for Honga Savannah, I've been seeing a lot more cases where there's multiple level 9 Cape Buffalo on a server. I'm wondering if it's always been that way, where they're a little bit easier to get diamond, but because they were in such obscure areas in very odd parts of the map, maybe we just didn't see it uh, show up as often, but now that they're in such easy places to find, it's possible that we're just seeing more of them, and I do think that that's definitely become a thing ever since they changed Verhonga, because I remember when I got on my map for the first time after they changed the uh, locations of animals on Verhonga Savannah, I ended up finding two level 9s on mine. Uh, one of my moderators ended up finding two level 9s on hers as well, so I feel like things have definitely been a little bit easier with level 9 Cape Buffaloes ever since they changed Verhonga Savannah. And uh, let's go ahead and change the time real quickly and see if we can get these to actually cooperate because as of now, they're just simply not in sight. All right, well, we finally have it in sight. This is hopefully going to be the last time we have to look at this Cape Buffalo with him still being alive. Let's get close enough to use the 300 Magnum because I'm not taking any more chances. We've already screwed up once on this guy along with that other level 9 that we still have yet to figure out where it drinks. So I, I don't want to take any chances. We're hopefully going to get this done now and get this guy on the ground. All right, there we go. He's finally moving. Please, please let this be the last time that we need to chase after him. Now, if we mess up this shot, there's no going back. He's completely ruined because we did screw up the first shot. Please let us make this shot and oh gosh. Oh no. How did it go aggressive? Uh, this isn't how I wanted this to end. Not again. Well. There is literally no going back now. Please. Oh my gosh, it was vitals. Oh my gosh, we did it. Are you kidding me? There's no way. And that is a big horns brown cape buffalo down. Please. Please tell me I didn't hit this thing twice before this by accident. Because I'm pretty sure it was two different cape buffalo, but you never know. Multiplayer is weird. It's a diamond max score, max weight. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And well, that's the first shot we took. So <laughs> that's the, the bugginess of when you get disconnected from a multiplayer server. This has to be one of the weirdest encounters with a giant Cape Buffalo like this that I've ever had. Uh, not only is this a max weight brown, but it's the second max weight Cape Buffalo that I've ever killed. That's insane. That is insane. I, I can't believe that. But uh, unfortunately, because we got disconnected, everything looks completely wrong here. But uh, that's just typically what happens whenever you shoot something and then get disconnected from the server. If you were to shoot it again, nothing is going to match up. However, in this case, we finally did seal the deal on this guy. And if we had taken one more shot, it would have been the end. But I'm happy that he actually gave us a somewhat decent angle. But because of how buggy multiplayer is, we're never going to get to see where we hit him. I'm assuming it was double lung, but we're never going to know. But that is a giant. This is by far my best Cape Buffalo trophy of all time. This is by far the best that I have ever killed. And what's crazy is I didn't see anything else good on this server the entire time. And then we go hunt Cape Buffalo and there's two of them. And we still got to go get the second one. So let's move on and do that. Well, as of now, I am not able to figure out where this other one is. However, we do have a mythical here. So I don't know if we got that shot. Uh, don't think that was a good shot, but as I was going to say, we're going to take it out since it is here. Let's uh, see if we can get it on the run. This is a risky shot, and it didn't pay off. Well, let's just finish him off then. I love how this became a rifle hunt when we intended to use shotguns, but 
we just had that uh, Cape Buffalo not give us a good shot with the shotgun, so we had to take it out with the rifle. And uh, there we go, 144. That's a pretty good mythical, honestly. That's not bad. And uh, the reason I'm shooting something that isn't a level 9 as well is I want to make sure that this server is not a cheated server. Even though I know from what I've seen that it is a legit one, I want to verify by kind of looking at the weights versus the score just to make sure that they match up. And it does seem like everything is in line, so I think we should be good. Uh, like I was saying, this seems to be one of those uh, typical servers where the Cape Buffalo are just insane. Uh, this was unsearched along the coastline, except for like one or two zones, so... I think there's a lot of areas that just were not searched, and to be honest, I don't even know where this level 9 is. We killed the one level 9, and this other one just seems to be literally nowhere along the area where it could have been. I've searched this entire stretch right here, and I don't see it. And previously, I had searched this entire stretch here and didn't see any 9s, so I'm going to assume that this guy is just out of the way of this coastline, which is going to make it hard to find him, and honestly, I don't know if it's going to be worth it for something that is very possibly a troll. So we might end up having to move on. Well, with uh, seemingly no level 9 in sight for miles, I think we're going to have to call the hunt here. The other one I'm almost positive would have been a troll. It seems like the small horns 5 times out of 10 end up trolling, so I'm not too worried about it. I've got plenty of small horns diamonds. So I think we're just going to be content with the diamond we did get and uh, go check it out in the trophy lodge. So, I think the best place to put this Cape Buffalo is going to be in place of this 161.6. I mean, let's be honest, a max score is a little bit better, plus this guy is the brown fur type, which I really like. And man, that looks beautiful. That is a really good looking Cape Buffalo. Now, I don't know where we're going to put this Wildebeest, but I'm thinking we'll probably replace the other Bighorns one that we have in here that scores a little bit lower. Now, that would make sense, because I do want to keep one of the small horns and one of the big horns, so... Let's just get rid of the bigger of the two here, I believe, actually, they're virtually the same score. But I think this one is slightly higher with it being 0 .01 away from uh, being a 39.50. Yeah, this is uh, definitely better, but it's uh, very close to being the same. But that's awesome, we managed to get ourselves two Trophy Lodge editions today, which is a rarity to get more than one in one video at the stage that our Lodge is currently in. We've got most of the areas completely filled with trophies that are never going to be moved, and so to get something that's actually worth putting in here is a rarity. And it's great to see two things getting replaced in one video. But if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below, and I will try to respond to as many as I can. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!